What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Originals E-Liquid. All right, guys, so we're going to be taking a look at some e-liquid today, mainly the originals. Now, before we begin, I must state my intent by saying that I did receive these products for free from the manufacturer for the purpose of doing this video review. However, my opinions on these products will remain honest and unbiased, of course, as always. Now, with that being said, I would like to give two big thumbs up and a big shout out to the people over at Craft Vapory for sending these bottles along for me to review. Uh, make sure you check out the link in the description if you want to get any one of these products for yourself. Of course, I also have a coupon code there if you want to get 10% uh, off anything in the e-commerce store. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, so the price point on these bottles are uh, $12 for a 15 mil, or if you're a member of Craft Vapory, it's only going to be $10.80. Uh, for a 30 mil, it's going to be $22 at a, and a member price of $19.80. And for a 120 mil bottle, the price is $80 with a member price of $72. Uh, they are available in 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligrams of nicotine unless you're buying in the larger bottle sizes. I believe the 120 mils are only available in three at this time. That's the way it looks on their site at least. Um, but yeah, they come in these really cool looking black matte bla uh, black bottles, which are pretty neat. Unfortunately, you can't see how much liquid you have left in there, but uh, they look pretty darn cool. Uh, so anyways... Let's go ahead and get started with the review portion of the video. Um, the, uh, the first one we have on our list today is the Fillmore. Um, the PG-VG ratio is 25 PG, 75 VG. Flavor profile is primaries, trees, and, uh, tree fruits, secondary, tropical, and exotic fruits. The flavor description reads, fruity and fun. This peach mango blend is a deluxe ode to rock and roll. Peach plus mango plus two types of vanilla plus tidal waves of sweet cream equals a timeless hit. You want to revisit again and again. So it's kind of a play on my favorite juice of all time, which is Shock and Awe, which is a peach mango blend. This one adds a little uh, layer of creaminess and sweetness to it with the vanilla. So let's go ahead. I've got it loaded up in the Kanger Subvod kit here with a brand new coil in there. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. So right away, I get that blast of like peach and mango right in my face, and it's amazing. Uh, it's a di bit different than my normal go-to peach mango, which is, of course, shock and awe, uh, in the fact that the mango is a little bit more natural tasting. It's not so candy-like. It's not so sweet or sugary. It's more like a natural kind of mango flavor. Uh, the peach is in there, too, but I mostly get more mango than peach. It's kind of like a very subtle peach right at the beginning of the hit. Then it's a blast of mango, and on the exhale and the after taste is a little bit of that vanilla cream. However, it is still masked a bit by the uh, mango flavor. It's a good mix. Uh, I like what they did here. However, I'm still a bigger fan of the mango flavor in Shock and Awe uh, rather than this one here, but it is a good occasional vape. I could see myself vaping this one all day because it's nice and refreshing and it doesn't, it's not too overly sweet or anything like that. It's a very nice, uh, nice play on the palate, you know what I mean? Uh, it just kind of dances across your tongue. So so anyways, let's go ahead and have our second puff here and I'll get to my ratings. All right, so for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 4.5. Uh, I just think the flavor combination of peach and mango is just damn near perfect in my book. Now, uh, flavor is subjective, so you guys out there might like something like peach and pineapple or peach and strawberry or something like that or whatever. But uh, just for me personally, I feel like my personal flavor type is going to be that peach mango. That's almost perfect for me. So uh, really playing hard on my you know heartstrings with this one here because uh, I love that shock and awe. That's like my all-time favorite juice. So this one is definitely coming in pretty close to that. Uh, so for the vapor production, I'm going to give this a four. Not bad overall vapor production, but I was expecting a little bit more out of a 75-25 blend. Uh, so honestly, eh, it's okay. It's right up there with, you know, a good 70-30 or something like that, but uh, I was expecting a little bit more out of it. And for the throat hit, I'm going to give it a four as well, just because uh, not quite enough throat hit for me personally. I, I just feel like there should be a little bit more. Uh, it's not lacking whatsoever, but it's just kind of like almost there for me. Not too bad overall. This is definitely one to check out. So that does it for the Fillmore. Let's move on to our next flavor. All right, guys, we're back with our next flavor, ready to go loaded up in the tank. Uh, the next flavor we're going to do is the Garden. Now, according to this little flavor card I got here with it, um, it won Best in Show at Vape Summit 3 in Las Vegas. That's pretty darn cool. So 
Uh, let's go ahead and read the little card here. PGVG ratio is 50-50. Flavor profile, primary is tree fruit, secondary is baked goods. Uh, and the flavor description reads, not one, but two varieties of apples, matched with pear and topped with buttery cinnamon, brown sugar, and honey. This award-winning flavor may taste sweet, but it's purely sinful. All right, so like I said, all loaded up in our tank here. So let's go ahead and give this one a shot. So the first thing that hit me with this one is a blast of apple and a blast of cinnamon. That's kind of what I noticed the most. It's not overly one apple or the other. I can definitely get a nice mix of both. Uh, however, the pear in it is definitely an afterthought and it's like way in the back. I mean, I really can't even taste pear or honey or anything like that. I mostly get the apples and the cinnamon. That's gonna be a very overbearing kind of flavor uh, as on this one here. You're gonna get mostly that. You might get a little hint of flavors on the after taste or something like that but it's definitely not uh, not too noticeable in the whole vape experience as you know as a whole so um, I guess I, I think this one might be better in like a more mouth-to-lung style tank that's just my opinion I mean uh, I'm sure someone out there has vaped this with a mouth-to-lung style rig and they probably will enjoy it a lot more than I am right now uh, I've never been a huge fan of the bakery flavors but this one is pretty darn good I gotta say um, for a 50 50 blend it's actually not too thin I was expecting it to be a little thinner but it's definitely uh, a little bit on the thicker side for a 50 50 blend so I could see vaping it in a sub tank or something like that it's not going to really hurt anything but uh, if you're doing a mouth to lung or a more restricted airflow kind of tank then I think this one might be better in that style device uh, so let's go ahead and have another drag here I'll get to my ratings so for the flavor on this one, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Um, it's about average, I'd say, uh, maybe a little tiny bit above average. I'm not gonna say it's the best thing in the world because it won an award or anything like that. Again, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of not doing it justice by putting it in this sub tank here. However, um, you know, everyone's different. Everyone's gonna kind of have a different style of vaping. So this is a good average point, I believe. That's kind of why I chose the sub VOD to do my flavor reviews on. Um, so honestly, I'm gonna give it an average rating. Um, it is a good dessert vape and I've never been a big fan of dessert vapes so for the dessert vapes that I've tried this is a little bit higher up on the scale I suppose however I don't think that it's anything revolutionary or anything like that so for the vapor production however I am going to give it a 5 because I was not expecting much out of a 50-50 blend and this definitely kind of almost had the same amount of vapor as the previous one that I did that was 75-25 uh, and the high VG spectrum so um, really good vapor production on this stuff and for the throat hit it gets my the back of my throat a little bit which is what I'm looking for so I'm gonna give it a four and a half for the throat hit on this one still not quite what I was expecting out of a 50 50 blend at three milligram however it is pretty darn good I do get a little extra kick might be the cinnamon however uh, yeah just not quite on point as I was expecting all right so that does it for the garden let's move on to our next flavor all right, guys, we're back with our next flavor, which is going to be cream fields. The PG-VG ratio is 30 PG, 70 VG. Primary flavor profile is baked goods. Secondary is berries. The flavor description reads, prepare for a wave of nostalgia with this uh, intricate flavor, blueberry waffle, graham cracker, maple syrup, Bavarian cream, and notes of strawberry shortcake with whipped cream. With 13 different extracts utilized to evoke a European breakfast, the satisfaction is endless. So, um, as you guys probably know, I've never been a huge fan of the whole waffle thing. Uh, I've tried a few waffle flavors in my time, and uh, especially the ones that claim to have a maple flavor in there tend to taste like burnt sugar. So I'm kind of going in this, uh, into this with a negative attitude. I'm very kind of particular about my maple syrup flavors, maybe because I'm French Canadian, and that's kind of the thing that we're known for is our maple syrup. So let's give this one a try. Now I tend to think that if you're trying to overcomplicate something that something will get lost in the whole translation somehow. I mean, there's a lot of flavors going on in this one here, but honestly, I think they did it a little bit of justice. Uh, I get the, the um, blueberry flavor in there. I get the kind of waffle flavor and a little bit of that maple flavor too. Uh, the strawberry shortcake and the whipped cream and all that are just kind of flavor profiles that just tend to get kind of swept under the rug when you're talking about most uh, e-liquids. Uh, and they're 
very hard to pick out. Honestly, I, I took a few drags off of this off camera real quick, just to kind of see if I could find the flavor in there. And honestly, I don't find a lot of strawberry flavor. It might be just a tad. I, I almost kind of uh, would say this one would be more of like a blueberry strawberry topped waffle or pancake or something like that with I guess you could say whipped cream because you, you add a little cream flavor to it and you add a little bit of maple flavor to make the maple syrup. However, the maple syrup flavor is pretty much on point. I like the maple flavor in this one. It's not too overbearing. It's not too noticeable. Just like a hint, like a little drizzle of maple. That's kind of what I was looking for out of this one. And it doesn't taste like burnt sugar. Finally, a breakfast flavor that didn't overdo it, you know? So it's not too sweet, too. That's the other thing. It is pretty sweet, but it's not too sweet. There's a big difference there. So let's go ahead and have another puff on this thing, and I'll go ahead and get to my ratings. So for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 4. Now the reason I'm giving it a 4 instead of a lower score is because aside from the fact that it's missing a few of the ingredients stated on the flavor card, I feel like the flavor overall is actually really tasty. So they did definitely did the whole blueberry waffle kind of thing justice. However, I would kind of tend to try this one out on a few other devices and see what I get out of that. Uh, on a higher wattage or a, you know, a lower resistance build, something like that, I tend to lose a lot of the fruit flavors so I like to have a nice average kind of uh, setup for me to try out these flavors on and I do get a nice mix of the fruitiness in this one as well as the kind of uh, bakery breakfasty kind of aspect to it so I definitely get a good mix however I still feel like I'm losing out on some of the ingredients in the actual flavor profile so for that I'm giving it a four for the vapor production I'm actually going to give this one a four and a half it's pretty spot on to right where I was expecting this one to be uh, for the PGVG ratio and for the throat hit I'm gonna give it a four and a half as well just because uh, I feel like the throat hits pretty much on point with this one here again I, I don't think I would you know make me into a breakfasty kind of flavor vapor just vaping this one here but it is a good occasional vape I think this one might pair well with a nice cup of coffee so maybe I'll try that tomorrow morning anyways let's move on to our final flavor all right, guys, we have our final flavor loaded up in our tank, which is going to be the Shrine. Uh, the PG-VG ratio is 20 PG, 80 VG. Primary flavor profile is baked goods. Secondary is florals and spices. Oh, that's a different one. And the flavor description reads, cinnamon topped with buttery glaze. The, this creation uh, is a Cinnabon in vape form. All of this insane sticky sweetness and none of the guilt. Your taste buds will spend the rest of their lives bowing to you and your decision-making skills. So, if you like cinnamon, this one's going to be for you. Uh, me personally, not a big cinnamon fan. So, let's see how this goes. Holy cinnamon, Batman. This one is a mixture of sweet and spicy cinnamon, I find. I'm definitely getting some of that sweet cinnamon in there, like a cinnamon bun. Um, not so much on the sweet side as it is on the fiery side, though. There's definitely a kick to this one uh, in a spicy cinnamon way. Um, yeah, not sure if I like that or not. I mean, I know there's a lot of vapors out there that look for that real nice, spicy, natural tasting cinnamon, and that's what you're going to get out of this one. Um, me personally, not a huge fan. I like more of the uh, sweet cinnamon, like the apple pie kind of cinnamon, maybe with a little nutmeg and vanilla and cream and stuff like that, just to tone it down a bit. This one is like, uh, I don't know, it's such a weird like mouth feeling. Uh, I had to vape it a few times just to kind of understand what I was vaping, but yeah, really interesting one. Um, for you cinnamon lovers out there though, definitely give this one a shot, especially if you like more on the spicy side of the cinnamon. Um, I wish I got more sweetness to it. I wish I got a little bit more of like an icing kind of uh, note to this one. However, it's definitely missing that fact for me. I get a sweet cinnamon and a spicy cinnamon and that's about it. There's not a lot of baked goods or anything like that in there. It's just kind of like, <sighs> my mouth feels a little warm, you know? <laughs> so let's go ahead and have another vape. Now I gotta tell you, this is like a really interesting feeling for me. It's kind of waking up my taste buds. Like uh, if I had vaped this one first, I don't think I would be able to taste anything but cinnamon for this entire review. So I'm glad I held this one off till last. But that being said, uh, for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a three. Not for me. Um, 
If you like cinnamon, this one will be for you, and you're probably going to give it a five. However, this one for me just doesn't quite do it. I'm missing that kind of like sticky kind of icing -y kind of feeling, and there's just none of that. I'm really missing that. I want more baked goods, you know? I want more of that the other notes in a cinnamon bun rather than just the cinnamon, and all I'm getting is cinnamon. Um, but give it a shot if you like cinnamon. You will like this one, I guarantee it. So for the vapor production, I'll give it a four. Pretty darn good for an 80-20. Um, you know, right up there, I'd say good average. So four for the, the vapor production and for the throat hit. I'm gonna knock a couple of points off because this one's given me like this weird kind of mouth feel, almost like a mouth hit, not quite a throat hit, but it's a mouth hit. Like, it's just the weirdest feeling. It's like I ate a handful of Red Hots or something. Uh, and there's gonna be people out there that like that. However, I am not one of those people. But don't just pass this one by just because of what I say. I do recommend you give this one a try for yourself and judge it, you know, as you will. But for this one, uh, not quite for me, but for you guys that love the cinnamon out there, guarantee you're going to like this one. Uh, so as for the originals as a whole, uh, I love their, their bottles. Uh, nice matte black bottles. Uh, again, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see how much liquid you have, even if you hold it up to the light. I get nothing out of this. Also, as a vape shop employee, I can tell you that it's going to be a little bit hard to discern which flavor you're actually picking up off the shelf unless you know exactly where it is because the, the design of the labels are all these just matte black bottles with white lettering on them. So, I mean, that's not like a complaint or anything like that. It's just, you know, putting that out there as a vape shop employee, that's the kind of thing I look for in uh, you know the, the style of branding that a company offers. So just a reminder, make sure you click the link in the description if you wanna check any of these flavors out for yourself. And don't forget to use my coupon code for an extra 10% off. So anyways, guys, that about does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Of course, check the advocacy links in the description below. I have them there so you can fight for your right to vape. And don't forget to check me out on all my different social media pages. I have Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you follow me on there. Like my page on Facebook. And if you want to fund this little channel of mine, then you can check out my Patreon as well. So anyways, guys, that about does it. And as always, vape on!